Even though we're not gathered at church for the 14 stations, we will not experiencing, experience them alone. We are a community and we meet in the presence of God to remember the stories of Jesus's last hours on earth and to connect those stories to our lives. Let us now approach the first station, opening our hearts to God's love. Station number one, Jesus is condemned to death. I see you, Jesus, standing innocent, but condemned. People in power feel their power threatened. So it is expedient that you should die. Your condemnation unites you with countless innocent political prisoners who disappear because it is expedient. It unites you in death row with death row inmates, some of whom may be innocent okay. and, some of, and some of whom may be guilty, but none of whom need to be executed. Your condemnation reminds us that you are to be found in all those who stand condemned and that we are to, to serve you in each of them. Please pray for prisoners and captives, for refugees and those seeking asylum, for those in jails and prisons, for all under the death penalty, for courts and for all who are working for justice. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Station two, Jesus takes up his cross. I see you, Jesus lifting the heavy cross, the instrument of your own death and carrying it forward step by step. Your burden unites you with many who struggle and carry with them what will cause them to die. Drugs, alcohol, cigarettes, even food can be instruments of our death. Addictions and overindulgence weigh heavily on our shoulders. Your heavy burden reminds us that you are to be found in all persons with addictions that threaten their lives and health, and that we are to serve you in each of them. Please pray for all who suffer from addiction, those in treatment and those who are not. Give them courage, give them strength, and give them hope. If they try and fail, Help them begin again. Above all, assure them of your steadfast love and faithfulness. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Station three, Jesus falls for the first time. I see you, Jesus, stumbling and falling, already weak from the beatings you have endured. Your stumbling unites you with all of us as we stumble along the way. Sometimes we are unable to rise on our own. We are thankful for those who help us to go on. Your stumbling reminds us that you are with each of us as we stumble and fall and are helped back to our feet. 
and that we are to serve you in each other as we help meet one another's needs. Please pray for those who are weak and sick, for all who have ended up in emergency rooms or other places of healing. Please also pray for everyone who has helped someone in need, giving thanks that they are serving as the hands, feet, and heart of Jesus in the world. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Station four, Jesus meets his mother. I see you, Jesus. As you see your mother watching, and her eyes look upon with great love. To be supported by someone who loves you totally, even you're in your extremity, must bring a small amount of comfort, measure of comfort. Her luck of love unites you with all children looking for a person who will love and support them in times of trouble. Runaways, orphans, those who have been abandoned. Your mother's look of love reminds us that you are found in all the motherless, lonely, unloved children of the world, and that we are to serve you in each of them. Please pray for abused, abandoned, and orphaned children and for their caregivers. Please remember the staff and clients of the juvenile home of foster care and adoption services. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Station five, Simon carries the cross. I see you, Jesus, as Simon lifts the weight of the cross from your shoulder and onto his, and you have a moment's relief. Sometimes we don't want to accept help. We want to prove we can do it our own. Or sometimes our burden becomes part of our identity, and it is hard to give them up. We are grateful for the helpers who can relieve us. Relinquishing your burden to Simon unites you with all who find their burdens unbearable and also with those who help to shoulder the load. Your acceptance of help and Simon's availability reminds us that you are present and that we are to serve you in both those who need help and those who make it available. Please pray for those who suffer from mental illness and those who care for them. Please pray for mental health services and the Department of Social Services.
Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Station six, woman wipes the face of Jesus. I see you, Jesus, as a woman bends to wipe your filthy, sweaty, bloody face with her clean handkerchief. Your bloody, soiled face unites you with the poorest and the least among us. We often feel repelled by homeless people who have no place to bathe or no clothes but what they wear those who wandered disoriented in the streets. Mother Teresa was an example to us as she served the poorest of the poor, bending to wipe their faces in the gutters of Kolkata. The woman wiping your face reminds us that we are to serve you in the least among us, even when it means soiling our hands in the process. Please pray for those who are homeless and living in shelters or on the street. Please pray for ministry with community, open doors, and all who reach out to love and serve people without homes. Lord, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. Lord, have mercy. Station seven. Jesus falls the second time. I see you, Jesus, falling a second time without even the weight of the cross to pull you down. Simply moving forward step by step becomes impossible. Your repeated falling unites you with many who have conditions that almost assure they will fall, like epilepsy or cerebral palsy. Often the world grows impatient with those who fall repeatedly, thinking they should be more careful, more responsible. Your repeated falling reminds us that you are present in each person who falls and may be repeated, physically and moral falls, and that we are to serve you in each person at every fall. Please pray for those who suffer chronic illnesses and live on the margins. Please pray for the Salvation Army, Disability Services, and all organizations and agencies that are trying to serve those with physical challenges. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Station eight. Jesus meets the woman of Jerusalem. I see you, Jesus, 
addressing the women of Jerusalem. You united yourself to the women of your time by the respect you offered them when they were considered the property of fathers or husbands by their culture. To this day, women are often abused physically, emotionally, and sexually by the very people who declare love to them. Your recognition of the personhood of women reminds us that you are present in each of these women who are mistreated and that we are to serve you and women who suffer from abuse of any kind. Please pray for women who have suffered abuse and for those who offer them sanctuary. Pray for the YWCA abused women's shelter and all other shelters and safe places and for people who are available to women in need. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Station nine, Jesus falls the third time. I see you, Jesus, as once again you collapse under the burden of your own exhausted bodies. Your exhaustion unites you with those who fall repeatedly in despair of ever being able to rise again. Those burdened by poverty, addictions, and depression that may reach a point where they would choose death rather than struggle to stand. Your third fall reminds us that you are present in those who fall so repeatedly that they may reach the end of their endurance and that we are to serve you in those who have lost hope and fallen into despair. Please pray for those who have reached a place of hopelessness and despair. Pray for the gospel mission, Griffin Place, the suicide hotline, and all other places, services, and people that make themselves available to those who are exhausted physically, mentally, or any other way. Lord, have mercy. Christ, Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Station 10. Jesus is stripped of his clothing. I see you, Jesus, as you are stripped naked on Golgotha. Nakedness brings shame, embarrassment, cold, exposure, and disease. Your nakedness unites you with many in our communities who lack the basic necessities of appropriate clothing and protection from the elements. Your being stripped of your clothing reminds us that you are present in the inadequately clothed and sheltered, and that we are to serve you in each of them. Please pray for those who lack the basic necessities of life. Pray for the Kalamazoo Deacons Conference, St. Vincent de Paul, 
and all thrift shops that exist to help people get what they need at reasonable prices. Pray also for everyone who donates time, money, or other needed items to these agencies. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Station 11, Jesus is nailed to the cross. I see you, Jesus, as nails are pounded through your hands and feet to secure you to the cross. It is hard to look. It is hard to imagine anyone deliberately inflicting such pain on another human being. Yet your agony unites you with the people who are tortured and murdered throughout the world and with all people who suffer painful injuries and endure chronic pain. Your enduring the horrors of crucifixion reminds us that you are present in everyone enduring pain and torture and that we are to serve you in all of suffering humanity. Please pray for those who have suffered violence or death at the hands of another. Pray for those who care for them too. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Station 12. Jesus dies on the cross. I see you, Jesus, hanging dead on the cross. I see black Americans hanging on lynching trees. I see Jews thrown into crematoria under the sign of the swastika. I see Muslims run through by crusader sword, swords. Your ignominious death unites you with all who have died unjustly cruelly, and especially in the name of religion. Your death on the cross reminds us that you are present in every death, just and unjust, and that we are to serve you in each death. Please pray for an end to hate crimes. For all who have died for who they are, <clears throat> please give each of us the ability to recognize the interconnection of all creation and help us work for justice and peace for all.
Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. mercy. Lord, have mercy. Station 13. The body of Jesus is placed in the arms of his mother. I see you, Jesus, as your lifeless body is laid in the arms of your mother. I hear the wailing of Iraqi, Palestinian, Syrian, Israeli, Afghan, and Ukrainian mothers as they mourn the death of their sons. In your mother's anguish, she and you are united with parents whose children have died before them of disease, starvation, or violence. Mary's grief reminds us that you are present with every child of any age who dies and that we are to serve you in the dying children, infants, or adults, and in, and in those who love them. Please pray for all who have suffered the death of a child. Pray for organizations such as Compassionate Friends, Mothers of Veterans, or Mothers Against Drug Drivers. Lord, have mercy. Christ, 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 have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Station 14. Jesus is laid in the tomb. I see you, Jesus, as your body is wrapped in linen and placed in the tomb donated for your burial. The finality of death comes when remains are placed in their final resting place. The finality weighs on the mourners' hearts. Your disciples felt abandoned and hopeless with unfulfilled expectations, dust to dust. Your burial reminds us of your true humanity and your willingness as God's son to die for us a fully human death, such as each of us will face one day. But you gave us, gave us the promise of Easter to follow. We are to serve you by sharing this good news throughout the world. Please pray for Hospice of Southwest Michigan and the Kairos dwelling. Pray for all served by Rose Arbor, cemeteries and our columbariums and memorial garden. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We have finished praying the Stations of the Cross. And now it is time to gather our thoughts and remember the love that was shown to us 
and that is offered to us always. This Zoom meeting will stay active for another five minutes in case any of you want to stay connected and pray in silence. Whenever you leave, whether now or in five minutes or somewhere in between, please take up your cross and follow in the way of love. Let us go forth in the name of love. Amen.